So this what is my aorta just blew up. Just your your what happened? My aorta. You know the aorta. The, the aorta here that yes. goes down there. Oh my god! It opened. It's uh, it's called a dissection. Right. And it's, it was in three places here and there and there. And so, but what? How did you experience this? You know. Well, you've got a very big uh, pain in right. the chest. Right. Okay. Like an explosion. Right. And. Uh, and so I knew something was wrong. Right. Where were you at the time? Uh, at home, having a phone call with uh, my best friend. Oh dear. Okay. And suddenly I stood up. It was I was not feeling well. I sat sat again. I was not feeling well. Oh my. I said to him, hey, "Something is wrong." I go downstairs. I went downstairs. I was my my uh, my legs were shaking. Oh and my I was god. Holding a, the thing. I lied on the bed, and I told him, "I'm still bad." I hung up. I go to the hospital. Wow. And then I was going to the hospital. Then. After 24 minutes at the urgency, they called us the helicopter to transfer me to, to an hospital that is specialized in the heart. Oh my God. And at 2 a.m. I was operated. Uh, open surgery, heart surgery. Open heart surgery. Oh my God, dude. Yeah. Put a tube here, that's why my, wo my voice is, uh, is not the same as before. That's but crazy. It should come back, they said yes, to me. Yes, of course. Um, and then they, 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 they cool up your body, they take all the blood out of the heart and everything. Oh, sorry. That's crazy. And, that's, uh, and then they, they replaced a part of the aorta. And, they did. and in the meantime, I had, I had five strokes in the brain. Oh my God. But you're, you seem... I seem to be okay. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but I did, I, did, I did pretend to be okay for 43 years. 53 <laughs> me, years. Me, me too. Oh, 53 years. <laughs> exactly. And I did manage to, to, to make people really believe it. Me, me too. <laughs> I, I'm still doing this so, every day. So I practice. <laughs> now that I practice for 53 years that's, to hide that I was crazy, that's, that's I can incredible. continue. <laughs> well, I, I would say on behalf of the entire watch community, uh, we're so happy that you're, you're better. Uh, you look great. You sound great. Um, and and, uh, and thank God, bro. I mean, I'm so happy to see you. Yes, you know? me too. I'm very happy every morning when I look at yeah, my very, face yeah, exactly. in the mirror. Exactly. And uh, when for my kids. Right, of course. My wife. Of course. Yeah. yeah, I mean, so Xavier was just telling me about how he, he had, had to have emergency open heart surgery. And it was incredible because I think it was just like six weeks before that. We were in the yeah, chateau, yeah. having dinner, smoking cigars, yeah. you know, drinking, drinking. Uh, cigars are over wine. now. Oh dear. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Wine? No. No, wine is okay. Wine is okay. <laughs> wine is okay. Is, no, not too much. Is cheese okay? Cheese will be okay. Oh. Don't worry. Okay. We'll have <laughs> <again. laughs> okay. Um, uh. okay. Wow. Well, we have to do a special toast to you during the fondue today yeah, because. Yeah. Uh, anyway, guys. Uh, here yeah. with Xavier de Roque Interestingly, I was just doing an interview with Max Buser, and he mentioned how much he he, he loved you, loved your spirit, uh, loved what the energy that you bring to the watch industry as well. Um, and so Xavier is the founder and uh, owner of Chepec, right? And uh, and he has, uh, in a very short period of time, actually come up with what I feel is an iconic watch, right? A truly iconic watch, and that is the Antarctique, right? Um, so we're going to start with the more complicated version of the Antarctique. It mm -hmm. is the split-second chronograph, or Rattrapant, um, which he launched last yes. year. The movement's extraordinary. It's made in collaboration with Chronode, yes. Jean-François Mojon. And I had the pleasure to, to go to the, uh, the, the Chronode uh, Atelier, thanks, mm -hmm. to, uh, thanks to Xavier. Um, it's a stunning movement to behold because the entire split-second uh, mechanism is on the front of the watch. Exactly. You see two column wheels, one for the chronograph at 12 o'clock and then one at 6 o'clock for the split-second mechanism. Exactly. And I, we will reveal to you soon also some of the incredible technical achievements represented by the split-second mechanism because honestly, and you know I, I love split-second chronographs, it's my favorite complication. It's to me the most innovative and the most uh, brilliantly conceived. But. How, how are you, sir? Uh, good to see you. Yes. Watch, so wonder. yes. <laughs> thank you. I'm impressed. You remember everything uh, what we spoke about. Thank you. It's my job. Like so. I said, I've been pulling people for 53 years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? No, but okay. also the details of the watch. It's exactly that. No, it's see, exactly that. No, now, there is also a, there is always a human story behind a watch. Yes. You know? And the human story was that the person I was talking to you about having this phone call, my, my best, best friend. friend forever, right. he had a watch that he was a, a watch made by Chapek for the reestablishment of the watch. Right. Uh, of the brand sorry and this watch was uh, using uh, was powered by a by a vintage movement Valjoux 7733 yes and the Valjoux is so nice with it's not a column really so calm yes uh, but the movement of the levers and the depth of the watch yes. as a chrono was very interesting right and one evening having fun 
we came up with a serious, ludicrous idea to turn the watch Fantastic. you know the other that. side right. and say let's imagine a chrono that is all inverted right and that was uh, the brief behind that watch yes and we started on that brief in 2015 right and we spoke with uh, with jean francois and we actually sort of failed or did not realize uh, it every time we are trying but we could not find the right the right um, uh, balance equilibrium yes. in the uh, equation. Right. So uh, Jean Francois came with a, with a very good idea, which was to say, why don't we do a rattrapante? Wow. And uh, and then we said, yeah, that's a great idea. Let's do the rattrapante yes. together. And that's what that's what makes this watch even more incredible yes. because it's the only and first uh, uh, watch with the rattrapante movement on the on the side. Yes. And uh, on the on dial, dial side. side right. On the dial side. So. This is um, a ballet of levers, yes. and this is a, also a sort of a school watch where you can explain everything. Yes, Finally, absolutely. You know, it's the people who, who are loving watches without knowing exactly how it works. Right. Well, we can tell them. You know, yes. this column wheel is a piloting place. Yes. You know, the yes. cockpit. Yes. Uh, where you yeah. where you get the things to be uh, to be moving, and if we if we uh, activate it, we see uh, the different position with the hammer and uh, with the uh, uh, connection of yes. the uh, lever I should of the also clutch. mention this is a monopusher uh, chronograph. Yeah. So this pusher. button yeah. operates the start and the stop and the reset and exactly. this operates the split second function. Exactly. And it's beautifully integrated. This is one of the things I think is so brilliant about this watch is that it's so beautifully integrated into the crown guard that at first you're not even sure where the pushers are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Which I think is amazing. Yeah, yeah. And a monopusher is a bit harder than a two pushers yes. uh, because you have to arm yes. the, uh, the hammer. Yes. It's a bit like a like uh, I would say, like a cult, so you know, split. of the westerns. Yes. You you need with the with the gachet to to arm the cult, right. and that's the yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah it's Western. exactly that. <laughs> you have the yeah, so you have the hammer that goes back, right. and then when you when you and that's the start of the of the watch with the clutch yes. connecting, Imagine. and then after that, uh, when you stop, the hammer goes in and and stops directly uh, uh, and resets the. Uh, so one of the things that people look for in a, a split second chronograph, so let me show this to you guys, is that when you split it, first of all, that's the split. What you're looking for is two things. One, one is that when it catches up, the rattrapant yeah. function, it catches up super precisely and super fast. Yes. Right? So I'm going to show you that. But right? not too fast. We worked on the speed in which it would catch up. The most beautiful you want for to, the eye. Yeah. Yes. You want to nearly see it, you know? Correct. If it's invisible, yes. then you don't it's frustrating. It. You, want to, you want to see it like, and then yes. it catches up. So that was it. Caught up. And then what's also... So let me split it again for you. And it, I mean, I have to say, this one is beautifully realized. I mean, it's, it's stunning to behold. Can I also say that, that when you launched this watch last year, the price that you launched at us was like a gift to the community. Yeah. You know? Because, you know, we, uh, okay. we were thinking... Yeah, our idea was also to, to, to make a lot of watch lovers which are non-initiated. Yes. Uh, loving watches without knowing really what's, what's in it, you know? Correct. And we wanted these people to discover the beauty of autohologerie. Right. You know? Right. There is, a, there is a school not far here, it's called Muse School of des Arts Industriels. Yes. And you know, these two ideas, you know? Right. Industrial and art together. Right. And that was the same here, right. is to say, look, in autohologerie, you're going to see the artistic part right. of, of watchmaking. Yes. The most uh, handcrafted one. And we thought, well, we, we should make watches that help people to get into that field. Yes. So people who are used to a, to a more normal watch, to see, look, if we, this watch has a sound. You know, this watch, and this is why, even if we grow in numbers today, we keep as an in-house in rule, one watch, one watchmaker. Okay, wow, It's Amazing. not It's not done in, in a big way. Exactly. exactly. Right. It's one watch, one watchmaker. That's phenomenal. And then we even change our passport, which is a certificate, uh, the paper certificate of authenticity. Right. And then we have the digital one, yes. uh, the blockchain one. Yes. But on the paper one, there is, a, there is the signature of the watchmaker. Fantastic. So, so uh, you could actually... They loved go. it. They loved it, really. They found that super cool. You could probably one day visit the guy that actually made yeah, your watch. Yeah, exactly. Which I love. So, Xavier, let's go from that to this stunning watch, which I think has since having launched a couple of days ago, as they like to say, has broken the internet, right? Yes, yes. And so this is uh, the Antarctic Rattrapant Ice Blue. What I, you know, we love 
the uh, concept of transparency, right? And for a watch that has so much complicated uh, mechanism on the front of the dial, what would be better than to be able to see the mechanism as perfectly as possible? So what Xavier has done is he's taken the minute ring and he's taken the subdials related to the chronograph as well, and he's he's made them in sapphire crystal, but a fume blue sapphire crystal. Mm -hmm. Am I correct? Yeah, dude, that's great. The, the, the difficult part was to avoid the mirroring effect when you start treating the sapphire. Ah, yes, of course. That's, uh, that's yes. the difficulty. And that's why we, we, we did had the many attempts there. What you see here is a, is a real prototype because there is like a big mistake inside that dial yes. where the, the ring should be with white numbers and it came out with black numbers. Oh, dear. Okay. And we didn't realize. Yes. So someone has done a big mistake without saying it. <laughs> Or without realizing it, yes. because sometimes you do too many things, we assemble, and then suddenly we looked at the watch and say, "Well, there is something strong." But yes. that's that's also the beauty of saying that's a real that's a real prototype. I love it. It's not a finished watch, and uh, it will probably stay like this as a prototype, and and then the series will be always white numbers. Amazing. So can we also take a look at the Antarctic S? Yes. Nice yes. So the yes, is... the yes was uh, was the newborn. Mm -hmm. Uh, this was corresponding at uh, two reflections. One that many people wanted a smaller watch. Yeah. Many people have, right. have small wrists like me. Yes. You know, so this is a six inches and a half, six and a half, six twenty-five inches uh, wrist. Right. And uh, and the Antarctic was okay, but a bit large. And then we also had many women who were saying, you know, look, I I steal my my husband watch, but if I could have a smaller one, not too small. Mm -hmm. Because now I'm used yes. to larger sport watches, right. but something that is in between, that is more adapted, then it would be great. And and we like I have this to say idea. the size is fantastic. The size is fantastic. And, you know, honestly, for me, I, like I think it, it, they they coexist really nicely for both genders. Actually. Yeah, 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 absolutely. You know? Especially once you put an integrated bracelet on here, it'll be yeah. phenomenal. You know? Yeah, yeah. Yes, absolutely. And check the this bracelet, out. The bracelet, the bracelet should have arrived yesterday night. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. well, sorry, this is 2022, yes, we will remember that yeah. that's, uh, <laughs> the, the, that's the year, year that nothing arrived on time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but so that, that's, that is the signature movement of the Antarctic. That is one of the most beautiful movement, among, come back, <laughs> most beautiful movements around. It's a full bridge movement, but with the bridges all super well crafted in terms of hand finishing, but really contemporary sort of design for these bridges as well. And with that beautiful micro rotor, I, that's one of the my favorite movement. So, it is. It's, it's absolutely stunning. We thought about it really by as, as a sort of a tribute to watchmaking. Yes. To, uh, to, to show the best finishes you could get. Yes. And then, because, you know, the limit between men and women is, is, is blurred and that's nice. Yes. We can steal stuff from women and uh, men can, and women can steal stuff from men. Yes. And because of that, we decided to, uh, to actually have, have watches that would be a little bit more feminine. Yes. And watches that would be a little bit more masculine, like yeah. this one. Yes. This one is more feminine. I love it. But I would say probably two thirds of the buyers have yes. been men. Uh, fantastic. Uh, I love see? it. So this is the Osmium. Yes. When we discovered the Osmium, which is Osmium is, is this uh, uh, metal. This is Stop, I hear that's the most expensive me metal on earth. Yes. That's crazy. Uh, that, that piece right there is $600,000. Uh, no, half a million. Half a million. And for every 10,000 uh, tons of platinum you extract, you can only extract 30 grams of Osmium. Exactly. Anyway, incredible. It's, it's, uh, it's uh, three per thousand. That's the proportion. Crazy. So I'm going to put that here. So when we, uh, but we did not, did all that just for the price of it. Yes. The, the, the reflection was a design reflection. Yes. We love the, the crystallized effect of that uh, metal. Oh, yes. It's only crystallized in Geneva. So wow. it's a Swiss uh, product. It's a Swiss yeah. product. Yes. And on top of that, there is this gray bluish or bluish gray yes. uh, color that you cannot achieve when you color another crystallized metal. Right. You get to a blue, you get to a gray, yes. but you don't get to that, that point of, you know, of having a, a mix of the two that is deep in the metal. I love it. And this is why we, we, we worked on, 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 on making a dial, and we wanted that dial to be a statement, not in a bad man sense, a statement by making a, a whole piece of osmium present Fantastic. that people could suddenly uh, enjoy I would definitely and, wear this. And, and wear it. And on an integrated bracelet will be insane. It yeah, it's so will be. cool. It will and be. and uh, the name of the of this watch is the Frozen Star. Frozen Star. That's that's insane. I love that. And I would totally wear that. That's amazing. Well, 
Zavi, thank you so much for joining us. Always a um, pleasure. I love the Frozen Star. I adore the uh, the new Rotropon in, uh, in, uh, in Ice Blue. Wow. I mean, it's, it's phenomenal. So, bravo, sir. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you, sir. Excellent. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Enjoy what's making and enjoy time. That's the most yeah, precious. Yeah, time is Almost. precious. <laughs> we both celebrate our 53rd uh, birthday this, uh, this year. So Excellent. Take care. Take care, brother. Bye. Cheers.